Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great hump day. Hope you're getting over the hump. Hope you're doing the humpty dance. Just whatever it is you do on Wednesdays to get through the week, I hope you are doing it. We have some da 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 Damn Gina, but Damn Gina didn't actually send it to me. I actually found it myself. But shout out to Damn Gina. Um, we have breaking news on Dak Prescott and the sexual lawsuit against him. Let's go to the tape here. Actually, we're not going to the tape. We're going to read it to you. Sexual assault lawsuit against Dak Prescott, wait for it, has been dismissed. Let me say that again for all those out there that have been soiling the man's name and saying he's a sexual predator. He deserves to go to jail. And that's why the Dallas Cowboys aren't getting his deal done because he is a piece of you know what. All of you guys owe that man an apology. And we'll see how long before the talking heads actually bring it up. <coughs> I'm drunk around 1053 the fan. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. 1053 the fan. Sorry, I got a cold here. To see how long before they actually bring this up, this good news about one Dak Prescott. And let me read to you exactly verbatim what is going on so it's not misconstrued. Although the way I read, it might get misconstrued because I screwed stuff up. The sexual lawsuit against Dak Prescott. Let me start over. See, I'm already screwing it up. The sexual assault lawsuit against Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott has been dismissed, according to WFAA TV. Judge Angela Tucker, I don't know if she's related to uh, Chris Tucker, made the decision Wednesday. That would be today, hump day. This just came through about 30 minutes ago. A woman accused uh, Prescott of sexual assault in 2017 and initially filed the lawsuit in Dallas County which we reported that it was actually dismissed in Dallas County and they were going to refile it in another county, uh, demanding, because they said for convenience. It was going to be more convenient to go to there. I don't know when a case actually is supposed to be convenient, but it, it has been. Um, however, in April, her lawyer said he had planned to refile in Collins County. After the judge dismissed this case Wednesday, that's today, a September hearing was set to make a decision on a potential, potential legal action against Prescott's accuser. That's the $100 million countersuit that he's putting out there. Excuse me, that, the suit that he's putting out there for defamation. Prescott's attorney, Levi McLaren, who's also the Dallas Cowboys um, uh, a, a attorney, he took care of Michael Irvin's case also released a statement on the decision. He called the women's claims an extortion plot against the Cowboys star quarterback. The original lies by the accuser, her team, and their recent failed attempts to sue him civil civilly are all in combination of extortion plots against Dak Prescott. Um, these ploys distract from the trauma of legitimate sexual assault survivors and undermine the progress our society has made supporting them. Prescott originally uh, addressed these allegations against him in April, expressing his confidence that the truth would come out. That came, became the case when the case was moved, and he said that didn't change the legal team's approach. I know the truth, Prescott told reporters at the Texas Christians Children's uh, Childhood Fund Gala. That's a mouthful. I'm confident in what we filed. Very confident in what we filed. What we filed. Very confident. And what we filed. I know some of the things change uh, in their sense in where they were filed, but that doesn't have any weighing on how we are handling this uh, going about our lawsuit. And of course, the police said Dak Prescott would not face any charges. This was uh, back in May. Police said they would not pursue charges against Dak Prescott due to a lack of evidence. The women also planned uh, to dismiss his countersuit. McLaren called the decision nonsense. Wow. So that's where we are. The defendant's motion to miss is total nonsense, McLaren said. They have yet again misrepresented the relative relevant facts and misconstrued the law as it's applied to them. I, I need to talk to actually uh, Dak Attack because he actually knows 
or went to school and knows the attorney for the accuser and see how he's taking all this or what his take is on this. So there you have that. Um, we are going to show plain and simple that this case is about the ridiculous attempt by Victoria Bailey Shores and her attorneys. Oh, wow. He named her. Yol and Bethel Zai to extort Prescott out of $100 million on fabricated allegations, which could further could not be further from the truth. And now that Dallas County has rightfully closed its investigation into the defendant's false allegations regarding Prescott, we intend on uh, filing claims against the defendants for malicious prosecution. So, that seems to be said and done. Um, there you have it. Dak Prescott, his name has been cleared. Um, I had heard a few different things um, that I'm not going to disclose. I actually got from a reliable source um, months ago um, about the situation that there was some evidence to prove that the story which evolved and changed over time was not exactly right. So Dak Prescott, NFL man of the year, uh, new father, man on a one year deal about to be paid either by the Dallas Cowboys or by somebody else is definitely ready to go. Now, here's the question for you. Now, here's where it gets to be interesting. Now, was this actually the reason that the Cowboys were slow on getting this thing done, that they were waiting for the dust to clear? This is an interesting take, a take that some people have had, that the Cowboys were going to wait and let this thing get done. Also, some people also said that the Cowboys were going to let Dak Prescott enjoy his time of being a new daddy, and, you know, spend time with his family and stuff, and then they would start working on his contract. I wonder if this opens the doors now to say this is behind us now. Training camp is less than a month away. Uh, the season is only 71 days away, and now's the time to go ahead and start getting this thing done. Um, I, wish, I wish one of two things would happen. I, I honestly wish one of two things to happen because I am sick and tired of, of answering the questions from like, you know, listening to Dan and, and, you know, all these people, well, if they really can, and you know, Kimberly Martin, of course, well, you know, if they, they don't like that. That's why they ain't done the contract and everything else. I would just like them to say, you know what, we're not going to do this contract, you know, tell, you know, we're, we're going to risk it. Just say that or get it done one way or the other, because I'm tired of actually answering the questions on, you know, here it is. Dak Prescott has gotten, you know, played his ass off and we got doubts on whether he should get paid. And Trevor Lawrence, you know, the prince, of course, he's now the second high, or excuse me, tied for being the highest paid quarterback in the NFL and nobody bats an eye. It just gets to be tiring sometimes being a Dallas Cowboys YouTuber. But hey, that's what I got. Cowboys Mafia. Peace out. And I'll see you guys in Oxnard.